In my video about onboarding Mac devices to Defender for Endpoint, I missed a step. So thank you to everyone who pointed that out on the YouTube channel and also on LinkedIn. Yes, I did miss a step, so we're gonna go back and get that working and then test out Defender for Endpoint on my Mac. So I went through the trouble of downloading the onboarding package from this website here. I went to actually Mac OS and then Mobile Device Management and then downloaded the onboarding package but I didn't actually go ahead and use it in the configuration at all. That's the step that I missed. So we're gonna try that now. We're gonna go down to devices, Mac OS, configuration profiles. And you can see I've got these profiles here that I configured. None of those refer to onboarding. So even though we deployed the Defender for Endpoint Mac OS app, it didn't actually onboard to my tenant at all. So that's, that's my bad. So we'll choose create profile and templates, custom, Give it a name of onboarding for MDE. Maybe Mac OS onboarding for MDE, so I don't get confused. Choose next, it's a device, so we're gonna call it Mac OS onboarding. I'll grab this file. All right, we'll choose next. Assign it to all my devices and choose next and create. Okay, good. So that's that at least complete. That was one step that I definitely did miss and it definitely wouldn't work without that. So it's only now that I've come to test it, it didn't work. So thank you again to everyone who had pointed that out and I just didn't, didn't realize. So awesome. We're there now. So this Mac is now going to go ahead and install Defender for Endpoint. It's going to onboard Defender for Endpoint, the Mac to Defender for Endpoint. So let's take a look at this in action. Uh, where did I put the Mac? There it is. Okay, so from here, we need to uh, get the device to sync, actually. So I'll go back to here, uh, back to Mac OS devices. There it is. I'm gonna sync synchronize this now, back to the Mac. Okay, so first, let's just double check that all the profiles I've configured are actually available in the Mac. Go to system settings, down to privacy and security, scroll down to profiles, and we have a few things. We've got background services for MDE, full disk access, uh, network filter, notifications, and uh, system extensions. That's the settings that I've configured recently for this Mac. The new ones, the onboarding uh, blob that I've just created and the app that I've just deployed haven't come down to this device yet. So we'll give that a few more moments. Okay, so that just glitched a little bit there while it uh, installed some background items there. But I think we're back on track. It's just, uh, I know it's being controlled, I'm using it. Thank you. Okay, so after completing all of those steps, I've now noticed a new icon at the top right, which is the Defender icon. It says no action needed. I can choose open Microsoft Defender, and oh look, we have Microsoft Defender in a nice Mac style. So this is where we can run a quick scan. We can choose scan options and go through all these things here. If I go back, you can see the latest updates are already installed. Choose Manage Settings. We have all these settings that we have not yet configured via Intune. So for example, I could turn off Sample Submission. I could turn off Cloud Deliver Protection and really mess with this device's security. So I'm gonna close that down. It says Action Recommended. It will want me to re-enable these settings that I've just turned off to make this device vulnerable. So in the next video, I'm gonna go ahead and create an antivirus profile for this Mac device that I've just installed Defender for Endpoint on. See you next time.